Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting. I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And if you've not yet done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, if you like the information that's provided here for you, you know, hit that like button. And then also, you know, be sure to check out our links below for additional information, additional opportunities, you know, to help you grow and develop your business. Now, our topic today are four ways to identify more business opportunities for your gym. Because this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to, you know, you know, uh, new opportunities. We're trying to grow. We're trying to evolve. You know, we're trying to change in a positive manner. We're trying to move forward. So number one on our list is listen to potential clients. You know, past leads. You know, listen to what their needs are, what their wants are. You know, what their challenges are, what their frustrations are. You know, ask them these things. Yeah, I remember back when I was first starting in sales and trying to understand some of this. I mean, I would do this with, with people I would prospect with. Hey, why didn't you buy when you first came in? Okay. Or I'd talk to people on the workout floor. Hey, what made, made you finally decide to join? And so I was constantly, you know, talking to, you know, potential clients and past leads. Hey, what frustrates you the most? You know, what are your challenges? What are your obstacles? What makes this difficult for you? I wanted to learn more and more about it. Okay. Number two is listen to your customers. You know, what do your customers have to say? You know, what are your customers, you know, thoughts and ideas? You know, you can get some, some great ideas from them. I can tell you in my company, you know, the, the growth that we have, it's all come from existing clients. You know, years back, uh, we were not, I was not in the broker business, and but we would get clients that had been with us for quite some time and say, well, hey, Jim, we'd rather have you help sell our gym because we trust you. You know, can you help us sell it? And we get enough of those comments, all of a sudden, you know, we've got a broker division that we've done and we've done for a number of years now and, and actually had a lot of success with it. Okay. Or even online components, man, Jim, we'd love to have, in addition to what you're training and training us on, teaching us on, Hey, we'd love to be able to go online and just listen to, you know, various clips of different things that you do. So, you know, that's where Jim Thomas on demand, you know, was born. So listen to your customers, you know, in many cases, maybe most, you know, they will direct you as to where this growth is because what you know for sure is there's interest there at some level. Okay, so make sure that we're talking to our customers, we're listening, you know, to our customers. Next, look at what your competition is doing. You know, shop your competition. What do they do well? What do they not do so well? Where is there an opportunity? You know, I talk about this a lot. You know, when it comes to differentiation, you know, when you're looking at your competition across the board, what is not being provided? What is not being done? Where can you step in and provide something? This will be true differentiation. You could argue this is how you eliminate competition right there. Okay. And then also look at industry trends. Look at industry trends and insights. You know, what's going on in the industry? Where is there opportunity? And I, I was asked this question the other day, you know, Jim, what, what do you think the, uh, the opportunities are moving forward? And I think there's a few of them. Okay, as we speak here today, I think there's a few of them. I think as we start moving forward, I think you're going to have an enormous opportunity in the fitness industry because I think you're going to have a lot of pent up demand. You've got a lot of clubs that have chosen not to reopen. There's a lot of free agents that are sitting out there. Okay, you've got that natural need for human connection that's that's never going to go away. And you're going to have all three of these pushed into an industry that already has some great things about it, where everybody wants to look better, everybody wants to feel better, everybody wants to live longer. There's all these great things. And, you know, I, I see a tr the trend is just going like this when it comes to these things. And so be looking at that. So there's a lot of opportunity uh, that we can find if we follow this, but do it all the time. Make a commitment to do it. Don't just do it part of the time. Do it all the time. You're always talking to folks. You know, asking members, asking prospects, you know, looking at competition, looking at industry trends. Where is their opportunity? Get people's feedback, get their opinions. Okay. Even in other industries, you know, what are they doing and how can we adapt some of that, you know, to what we do? So take a look at this. These are things that can help you grow because you're not trying to stay stationary. You're trying to advance and grow your business. You know, that's the idea. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company's Fitness Management and Consulting. I appreciate you being here today. Hope you all have a great day.